Please be seated as we present to you your 2017 Employee of the Year finalist, ladies and gentlemen from the Business and Investments Group, Mr. Francis A. Garcia. Next, we have from the Chairman and Administrators Group, Royland Chester Picasso. From the Operations Group, Mr. Eric P. Labarentos. From the Public Services Group, Thomas Jason Mako. From the Regulatory Group, Reister V. Calderon. And from the Support Services Group, Nora P. Sevillejo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for them? Please welcome the Lyceum Performing Artist.
our 2017 Employee of the Year finalist with the special participation of the 2016 Employee of the Year awardees. And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2017 Employee of the Year awarding ceremony. Here are your hosts, Regina Marie Buya and Robert Movilla. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, partner Robert. Good afternoon, Reg. Okay, yeah. so I guess we are all excited to know who will win the Employee of the Year 2017, are we? Okay. Mahina yata. Oo, kasi siguro maganda. <laughs> Per SBU, tingnan natin gaano kadami ang sumusuporta, di ba? Yes, I guess we have to do that. Okay, so let's call each SBU one by one and give us your loudest cheer. Okay, so let's start with the business and investment group. Ayan, mga naka-blue. Business and investment group, Naka-blue Reg. din ako. Okay, so how about chairman and administrators group? Let's hear it from the operations group. All right. So I guess we should understand. Baka nasa operations sila. Uh -oh. <laughs> duty pa sila. Parler. Okay. So how about public services group? Next is the regulatory group. Wow, okay. And of course, from where I belong, Last the support enough. services grew. <laughs> okay, dilaw na dilaw, partner. All right, so um, to formally welcome us to this afternoon's event. Okay, let us give a big round of applause to our SBMA Senior Deputy Administrator for Support Services. Attorney Ramon O. Agregado, sir. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Good afternoon. Narinig niyo ba ako? Uh, Chairperson and Administrator uh, Ami Aisma, good afternoon ma'am. The most eligible bachelorette in Subic. <laughs> ha? Huh? Uh, Director Chito Lahom, good afternoon sir. Director Marvin Makapagal. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and to all my uh, fellow co-workers in SBMA, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. And last but not the least, I'd like to greet a pleasant good afternoon to all of our EOY finalists, pati po ang inyong mga pamilya at bahal sa buhay na kasama nyo ngayong hapon ito. Welcome, welcome po sa ating lahat. Alam niyo po, it's been 11 years since we had our very first Employee of the Year. Ang nanalo ho nun, si Joel Viray ng LED, kung naalala nyo. And that same year na una tayong naglagay ng Employee of the Year, si Joel nanalo rin ng Pag-asa Award, which is a national recognition given by the Civil Service Commission. And uh, just to show the caliber of our Employees of the Year, meron pang sumunod na dalawang Employee of the Year na nanalo ng Pag-asa Award. Si Randy Canlas ng uh, Support Services, and Marilu Dungog of uh, Chairman and Administrators Group. Meron pa tayong isang pag-asa awardee, actually, na hindi Employee of the Year. Kilala niyo ba ako? Sino yun? Hindi, hindi niyo kilala. Oh. Si Rani Magno was also a pag-asa awardee na hindi siya Employee of the Year. Pero mula noong 2007 hanggang ngayon, ang lahat ng nananalo ng Employee of the Year, iba't iba ang katangian nila, tsaka iba't iba ang accomplishments nila. But the single factor they have in common is that they embody our core values of malasakit, excellence, and integrity. Um, although they all share the same core values, what is different this year or in 2017 na napansin ko is not on the individual employees but all of the employees as a whole. Napansin ko medyo, hindi medyo eh. Actually, there's a very positive energy for all of us. At hindi lang dahil sa nagpapatalbugan tayo sa padamihan ng clean-up. Uh, may nag-clean-up ba ngayong araw na to? Wala, kasi syempre may employee of the year.
Hindi ho planted yung tanong na yun, ha? Para baka isipin nyo pinag-usapan namin. Um, ang napansin ko sa atin ngayon, lahat tayo, there is a joy and there is a passion in uh, everybody working together. Dati pag nagpatawag ka ng meeting ng Sabado, parang, ay, Sabado, busy ako eh. Pero ngayon, pag nagpatawag ka ng meeting ng Sabado, magpatawag ka ng meeting ng linggo, ang daming dumadating, ready, on time, and uh, ready to work. And it really um, elates me because it's really a positive change that I can see is snowballing throughout the entire agency. Na kumbaga parang nagiging contagious yung ganado tayong lahat magtrabaho, masaya tayong lahat magtrabaho, at sama-sama tayong lahat nagtatrabaho. Parang yung mga taga-tourism, for example. May taga-tourism ba dito? Wala? Wala mga taga-tourism? Ayun, nandun. Alam nyo, malayo pa lang alam nyo na kung taga-tourism eh. Kasi sila yung may itim tsaka malalaking eye bags. Dahil laging nasa Alaba. Kala mo mga taga-seaport na rin sila dahil laging nasa Alaba because of the cruise ships. Hindi lang tourism, pero lahat tayo kakaiba. Parang, for example, kung nag, uh, pinag-uusapan lang tayo ng talagang employee of the year na who performed really very well. For me, ang nakalimutan siguro natin na gusto ko, I want to take this opportunity to recognize. He really did a very good job last year and even this year. I'd like to recognize SDA Mar Sanki, the chairman of the 25th anniversary Tsaka chairman ng cruise ship committee. Mar. Alam niyo si Mar, last year walang tulog yan. Dahil bo nagpe-prepare ng anniversary, para sa anniversary walang tulog yan. Kala niya makakatulog siya this year, this year mas lalo siya walang tulog. Dahil sa anniversary committee, pwede siya magpa-meeting ng 9 o'clock na umaga eh. Pero sa cruise ship, Madilim pa lang, nasa alaban na sila eh. Kaya magkausap ka ni Minimar kahapon, alam nyo si SD Mar Sanki, alas 6 pa lang ng gabi, tulog na yan. Hindi na yan nagahapunan. Sinasabi niya sa akin, sa pagod. Kaya napansin nyo si D.A. Dea, parang medyo malungkot ang mukha these days dahil. <laughs> alas 6 pa lang, tulog na si Mar. Walang kasama manood ng telenovela. You know, but levity aside, I'm really very glad at how everybody has come together, eager and passionate to do the almost never-ending work that we all have. Um, but for me, this is not about all of us. This afternoon is about each of our Employee of the Year finalists. Let me be the first to congratulate all of you. For me, all of you are winners. And that um, I'm very happy that you have your loved ones here with you to enjoy this special moment with all of us. So on that note, it is my pleasure and my honor to welcome all of you to the 2017 Employee of the Year. Maraming salamat po. You have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, SDA Agregado. So before we proceed in the awarding of our 2017 Employee of the Year, let us hear a word from our last year's awardees. Okay, so here to give us an insight of their time as the 2016 Employee of the Year, Let's hear it from 2016 Employee of the Year from the Operations Group, Mr. Nathaniel Daniel. Uh, Captain po, sa inyong lahat, at sa ating mga SDA, DA, uh, Captain po, at sa ating buting Chairman Administrator, Wilma T. Esma. Sa ating mga paunahing pangdangal, sa akin ay mga kapakawani ng Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, magandang tangali po sa inyong lahat. Ang pagkakahirang ko bilang Employee of the Year 2016 noong nakarang taon ay isang pangarap na hindi ko sukat akalain na magkakatoo. Bilang simpleng kawani ng SBMA, Ang tanging hangad ko lamang ay magawa ang aking trabaho ng maayos at taos puso. 
ang makapagbigay ng karangalan bilang Nahirang na Employee of the Year 2016 sa aking kagawa, kagawaan ng isang napaka, napakalaking bagay at kaganapan sa aking buhay. Ang pagiging Employee of the Year 2016 ay nagbigay daan sa akin upang mas lalo kong pang pagbutihin ang aking paglilingkod sa SBMI at maging inspirasyon sa aking mga kapapalpliyado upang ibigay nila ang kanilang buong pusong paglilingkod sa ating pamumunuan. Ang nais kong ipaabot sa aking lubos na pasasalamat sa lahat ng taong naniwala at nagbigay sa akin ng suporta upang makamit ko, ko ang Employee of the Year 2016. Buong puso, buong puso po akong nagpapasalamat sa panunuan ng SBMA sa pagbigay sa akin ng karangalan at pagditiwala ay maging employee of the year 2016. Ako'y, ako'y po yung papasalamat. Maraming salamat po at muling isang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Mr. Nathaniel. Wow. Okay, Mayroon so... Yeah. Now, let us hear from um, 2016 Employee of the Year from Public Services Group. Let's give a round of applause to Mr. Joel Mangalindan. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Una po, ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa Diyos dahil binigyan niya po ako ng kalakasan para magampanan ko po ang aking trabaho bilang kawani ng walang pasubali sa abot ng aking makakaya. Sa ating kagalang-galang Chairman Attorney Wilma T. Esma at sa ating komite at sa lahat ng naririto po, magandang tanghali po. Magandang hapon. <laughs> uh, pasensya na po kayo at uh, wala po akong talent sa public speaking kaya medyo hindi po maganda yung... <laughs> ano. uh, ala po kung hangad dito sa SBMA kung hindi po pagbutihin at pag, uh, pag-usayan ang pagtatrabaho ko po bilang empleyado upang mas lalo pong maging maunlad at masagana ang SBMA. Uh, kaya po, hindi po ako masaya kapag wala po akong ginagawa sa opisina namin. Inaantok po ako kapag nakaupo lang po ako. Uh, sa atin pong lahat, huwag po natin kakalimutan, isang buhat po tayo lagi. Dedikasyon, malaka, malasakit sa ahensya. At kung paano po tayo nagsimula dito sa SBMA, ay huwag po natin kalimutan. Ipinaabot ko po ang aking pagbati sa bagong mahihirang na Employee of the Year. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Hey, our 2016 Employee of the Year awardees. Oh, it reminds me partner of the ano, Miss Universe program. Parang before awardan yung bago. Di ba? No, may farewell speech. Oh, may, may, farewell. may farewell speech sila. Tama ba? All right, so everybody, help us out. Rich and I are both new in this EOY hosting scene, so we need to know what the Employee of the Year award is. Anybody? Partner, Why? ano ba? I can help you out. I've been there. I was the ano, EOY 2016. Really? Yes. Why didn't you tell me? Now I am, de ba? So, eto ha. Uh, I'll tell you. The SBMA Employee of the Year program was established in 2006 to recognize outstanding men and women for their excellent service. Some of them may have been awarded with the Civil Service Commission's Pag-asa Awards, which only proves that indeed SBMA employees exude excellence in the civil service. The selection of the Employee of the Year is a long, long process. 
Ah, I see. So that's why every quarter, one employee from each of the six strategic business units is selected as their respective employees of the quarter. And all awardees of the employee of the quarter are automatically nominated to the preliminary selection of finalists for the employee of the year. Yes, that's right. Then after an initial interview with the program on awards and incentives for ex service excellence committee or what we also know as the praise committee, six finalists were picked to represent each strategic business unit for the coveted Employee of the Year Award. Wow! So that means each of the candidates went through a tough and tedious process and only the deserving emerged as the finalists. Yes, indeed. And a while ago, we presented the six finalists who were carefully screened and selected according to these criteria. Okay, industriousness and productivity. 50%. Quality customer service, 30%. Malasakit and honesty, 20%. Yes, and having said that, partner, why don't we award the Employee of the Year of each strategic business units right now? Wait, not so fast, Reg. I'm excited. Go ba? I am, of course. I am excited. But first, let us acknowledge the Employee of the Quarter awardees throughout the year 2017. All right, so may we now call on our SBMA Chairperson and Administrator, Attorney Wilma T. Isma, on the stage, ma'am, please. And of course, Senior Deputy Administrator for Support Services, Attorney Ramon O. Agregado. So ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the SBMA Employees of the Quarter. Starting off with the Business and Investment Group. We have Mr. Stephen C. Ferrer, first quarter, BID for Manufacturing and Maritime. Ms. Karen Magno, second quarter, BID for Manufacturing and Maritime. Francis A. Garcia, fourth quarter, BID for Leisure. The Business and Investment Group's Employee of the Year will receive the following. A trophy, a sash, a cash prize of 25,000 pesos, and 5,000 worth of gift certificates. So, kung gusto niyong bumalata, alam niya na. And at this point, we will be awarding the Employee of the Year for the Business and Investment Group, who will automatically be the SBU's EOY finalist. All right, so may we call on Senior Deputy Administrator for Business and Investment, SDA Steph, to join us up in the stage, please, and also BID for Leisure, Manager Kenneth Rementilia. Represent the business and investment group to vie for the employee of the year is Francis A. Garcia, BID for Leisure.
once again, the employee of the year for uh, business, uh, BID for uh, leisure, or the business and investment group, Francis Garcia. Congratulations, Francis. Now let's now move on to the chairman and administrators group. For the chairman and administrators group, we have Froilan Chester A. Picasso, First Quarter Intelligence Office. Juan A. Lazaro, Second Quarter Tourism Department. Roel Joanne R. Lazo, Third Quarter Internal Audit Service Office. Okay, and Albert Joseph Ralph Tamayo, Fourth Quarter Intelligence Office. The Chairman and Administrators Group's Employee of the Year will receive a trophy, a sash, a cash prize of 25,000 pesos, and 5,000 peso worth of gift certificate. Of course, to award the Chairman and Administrators Group, uh, Employee of the Year is no less than the SBMA Chairperson and Administrator herself, Attorney Wilma T. Aisma. And may we also call on our Intelligence Office Head, Rodel E. Del Rosario, sir. Uh, may we also request our SBMA Director, Director Marvin Ted Macapagal, to assist in the awarding. And the Chairman and Administrators Group's finalist is... Froyland Chester A. Picasso, Picasso, Intelligence Office. May we also request the family to please join Sir Froyland. to you the employees of the quarter for the operations group. Pedro D. Remorin, first quarter, Seaport Department. Eric P. Labarentos, second quarter, Airport Department. Emelda E. Encina, third quarter, Office of the Senior Deputy Administrator, for operations. Milrose S. Carlos, fourth quarter, Trade Facilitation and Compliance Department. The operations group's employee of the year will receive the following a trophy, sash, cash prize of 25,000 pesos, and 5,000 worth of gift certificate. And to award the operations group's finalist, may we call on our Senior Deputy Administrator for Operations, Engineer Marcelino Sanki, to the stage, please, sir. May we also ask Airport General Manager, Engineer Zarex Santos. Uh, may we request uh, Director Attorney Thomas F. Lahom III, sir. to represent the operations group to vie for the Employee of the Year is Eric P. Labarentos, Airport, Airport Department.
Congratulations, Eric. Next group of employee of the quarter is from the Public Services Group. Thomas Jason P. Macomb, third quarter, Office of the Deputy Administrator for Public Works Technical Services Group. Hazel V. Castillo, fourth quarter, Telecommunications Department. The Public Services Group's Employee of the Year will receive a trophy, a sash, cash prize of 25,000 pesos, and 5,000 peso worth of gift certificate. And of course, to assist in awarding the Public Services Group, um, Employee of the Year is Deputy Administrator for Public Works and Technical Service Group, Engineer Marco Estabilio. Director Roque to please um, help in the awarding. And the Public Services Group's finalist is Thomas Jason P. Macomb. Office of the Deputy Administrator for Public Works and Technical Services Group. Jason. Next, we have the regulatory group. Pastor V. Calderon, Second Quarter Ecology Department. Regine Ethel C. Linzaga, Third Quarter Ecology Department. And the regulatory group's Employee of the Year will receive the following trophy, sash, 25,000 pesos, and 5,000 word of gift certificates. And to assist in awarding the Regulatory Group Employee of the Year, may we request our Environmental Protection and Community Development Division Chief, Sir Patrick Escusa, Sir. May we also request um, DA uh, Kabigting to assist in awarding. And the Regulatory Group's Employee of the Year is... Raster V. Calderon, Ecology Department.
Operations Racer, our Employee of the Year for the Regulatory Group. And last but not the least, we have the Support Services Group. Dora P. Sevillejo, First Quarter, Financial Planning and Budget Department. Ronald Q. Rondez, Second Quarter, Labor Department. Domer Alves, Third Quarter, Management Information Systems Office. Daisy S. Miral, Fourth Quarter, Management Information System Office. The Support Services Group's Employee of the Year will also receive the following. Trophy, a sash, cash prize of 25,000 pesos and 5,000 worth of gift certificates. Yes, and to award the Support Services Group's Employee of the Year is, of course, our Senior Deputy Administrator for Support Services, Attorney Ramon O. Agregado. May we also have Deputy Administrator for Finance, Antonieta P. Sanki, and Financial Planning and Budget Department Manager, Edita L. Marzal. And the Support Services Group's finalist is Nora, Nora P. Sevillejo, Financial Planning and Budget Department. the year finalists. Let's give them a big round of applause. So now, after revealing the employees of the quarter who all went through the meticulous screening and tedious scrutinizing of each one of them during the selection process, and that makes us ask, who were the people behind screening of these outstanding employees? So let's acknowledge them. Yes, so as we call your name, please stand up and be acknowledged. So let us start with our praise committee members headed by its chairperson, the SBMA chairperson and administrator herself, Attorney Wilma T. Isma. Vice Chairperson, Attorney Ruel John T. Kabike. And Vice Chairperson, Antonieta P. Sanki. And for the members, Attorney Lilia Elizabeth R. Hidanay Escusa. Ah, nasa likod si ma'am. Vicente A. Evidente Jr. Juan C. Aquino. Now, the SBU representatives for the Chairman and Administrators Group, Architect Francisco M. De Guzman. Sir Fox. For the support services, Mr. Gerardo D. Hermoso. For the operations group, Anna Joy D. Quito. For the regulatory group, Edmond G. De Jesus. For the business and investment group, Florinda 
Hey, get on. For the public services group, Engineer Elmer L. Libo. For the SBMA Employees Association, second level, Jaime H. Menor, Jr. Second level alternate representative, Jakes Estalilia. First level representative, Reynaldo Q. Casimero. And first level alternate representative, Joy Q. Manala. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, to our praise committee for their patience in the selection of our Employee of the Quarter and Employee of the Year. Once again, a round of applause for the Praise Committee. So, let's first take a break from this excitement, partner. I agree, before we all burst with excitement. So, let us hear from two solo performers who will be rendering us a song number. We will hear a serenade a little later from Miss Lizelle Sunjam of the legal department. But for now, let us all welcome and hear the golden voice of Mr. Jor Jordan, Jordan Romeo, Romeo Valdez. Valdez. Malik 
Okay, once again, let's give them a warm round of applause. Thank you, Jordan and Lizelle. All right, now everybody's getting excited about knowing who will be the 2017 Employee of the Year. Sino nga ba, partner? We will find that out later, okay? Bibitinin muna natin sila, okay? So, first, let us hear a few inspiring words from our big boss. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for our ever gorgeous and energetic SPMA Chairperson and Administrator, Attorney Wilma D. Aisma. second EOY. So, ang bilis ng panahon. Um, of course, nothing can beat Roa reminiscing 11 years of EOY and I don't have that. Uh, but being here the second time gives me so much pride because I know that it's my people. It's my people are going up here being honored to be the employee of the year either by first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, or deserving of being the 2018 EOY. I'm sure sa sa malasakit speech. <laughs> Di ba? That gut in the stomach. I'm sure ayaw nyo nang marinig yon. But I guess the bottom line is I was, I was very happy when Roa mentioned um, talaga, magsasalita kayo habang nagsasalita ako talaga. So I'm very happy when Roa mentioned there's a renewed energy in SBMA. There's a renewed energy in Subic. And whether you believe it or not, it came from my call for Malasakit. Kahit ayaw nyo mang aminin o hindi. And, and that is something that we all should take pride for. And uh, I'm, not taking, I'm not taking credit for it. You should take credit for it. Because you listen to the call. You listen to the call to go out there and do your very best, more than what you're expected to do. And that is what we are honoring here. Those people who stood out from all the rest, who did more than what they are expected to do. As you know, I'm part of the praise committee. And I will only ask one thing. Why you? Because when I see your... When I see the piece of paper in front of me describing the candidate or the nominee, I will have to see that they're not only doing their job. Kasi magkaiba yung ano eh, ginawa mo yung trabaho mo at ginawa mo yung more than ng trabaho mo. Because that would qualify you for the EOY. That's my only question. I never ask for anything else. To be able to be deserving of the EOY title, you have to show that you did more than what is required of you. What is more than your job description. And I will be very honest, all of our six finalists showed that. And each of them deserves to get the 2018 EOY award. Unfortunately, we only have to choose one. And we are going to announce that a little bit later, pagkatapos kong mag-sermon. I always come here unprepared, so I will be able to tell you what's in my heart. And what's in my heart right now is that pride and joy, seeing all of you taking pride with your co-worker who, was, who are here, celebrating the hard work of your co-worker who are here. Because to me, that is malasakit. 
for you to come here and be joyful for some other person. You let go of your selfishness. You don't think of yourself. You think of others. You take care of others. By cheering them on, you take care of others. And when you take care of others, you take care of SBMA. And for me, my job is done. If each and every one of you will think that way, that would be the legacy that I will leave behind and I will be happy to walk away from this job. If you can continue with this kind of looking out for each other until you retire with SBMA, until the day we all die. Because looking after each other is something that we can do until the end of our days. It is the legacy that I want to leave. I'm also very happy that aside from looking after each other, a renewed sense of moral compass and integrity is back. We need to work a little bit more on it, but in each and every one of us, we'll work on it and we'll change our ways and look after each other again to ensure that our moral compass is straight. Then I am fearless. I can leave now and ensure, and I will be safe and secure that I leave SBMA in your hands, not in the hands of another administrator. Because if each and every one of you continue this legacy of caring for each other, having an questionable, unquestionable integrity and a moral compass that goes straight, then you actually don't need an administrator. You actually just need to work together. And this is how I would like us to honor the EOY today. All of them, all six of them, and all the employee of the quarters, winners, and all the past EOY winners. We honor them and we celebrate them by ensuring that we work with integrity, moral compass, and malasakit. If we do that for them, that's enough congratulations that we give and that's enough celebration that we provide for each other, that support for each other. So, again, I go back. I am very, very happy that one year later, we have this renewed sense of energy to care for each other. And I hope and I pray and I trust that this will not wane that this will continue past 2022 when I leave you as your administrator, that this will continue and the torch is with you past 2022. No matter how many administrators are here standing up before you, as long as you keep that torch with you, then I'll be very happy and SBMA cannot go wrong. I will not make this any longer. Maraming, maraming, marami pong salamat. Maraming, marami pong salamat sa EOY contestants, nominees. I don't know how you call it. But the point is, you worked hard to be here. The kind of work that deserves recognition. And I thank you for that. And I'm very, very proud and humbled that I am your administrator. Muli, maraming, marami pong salamat. Thank you so much, SBMA Chairperson and Administrator, Attorney Wilma T. Isma. All right, thank you for that um, very inspiring word. I think everyone now is very um, excited and to give more in what they do in each offices that they yes. uh, The message yeah. is integrity, moral compass, and malasakit. So it's doing more than what is asked from you. Diba? Yes, you have to exceed the expectation. Kasi pag ginawa mo yung trabaho mo, ginawa mo lang. Ang mahalaga, you do more than what is written in your job description. Yes, diba? that's, so that's right. Okay, so I guess lahat tayo dito um, nagtataka. May mga na-receive na na prizes yung mga employees of the year for uh, each SBUs. So, yes, Robert, but wait, there's more. Okay? So kung sino man po ang Tatanghaling Employee of the Year 2017 will receive another trophy, another sash, and 
additional 25,000 pesos cash and the EOY color pin. So that's a lot of ano, prizes talaga. <laughs> yes, we have lots of prizes. Kaya dapat talagang todo. Bigay todo tayo sa lahat ng ginagawa natin. Okay, so I think ito na yun, partner. Yung moment that we've been all waiting for. Is everybody nervous? Are you guys excited? Parang hindi. Uh -oh. Let's hear it from HSBUs na lang. Alright, let's start with... Let's have a cheer from... Business and Investments Group. Let's hear it from the Chairman and Administrators Group. How about from the Operations Group? Public Services Group. Regulatory Group. Ito na ang pinakamalakas. Support Services Group! Yay! Iba talaga ang support ng Support Services Group. Kaya support talaga. Iba ang kanilang support ta. <laughs> okay, and um, to award the Employee of the Year for 2017. Yes, may we request? Our Deputy Administrator for Administration, Attorney Ruel John T. Kabigting, to the stage, sir, please. Of course, our... Um... Okay, of course, our um, chairma Chairperson and Administrator, Attorney Wilma T. Aisma. Hawak na ni um, Attorney, Roa. Attorney Agregado. Okay, may we also call um, the our board of directors to please come up on stage so um, to assist and uh, to give the award for the Employee of the Year 2017. May we request um, Director Brian Gordon. Director Rogelio Roque. Director Marvin Ted Mahapagal. Attorney Thomas F. Lahom III. Director, Director Maria Cecilia Bobadilla Vitare. And of course, our um, Deputy Administrators. Please come up on stage together with the Senior Deputy Administrators. We, we are request um, Senior Deputy Administrator Engineer Mar Sanki, Senior Deputy Administrator for Business and Investment, Stephanie C. Sanyo, Deputy Administrator for Public Works and Technical Services Group, Engineer Marco Estabilio, The Irani Cruz. Deputy Administrator for Finance, Antonieta P. Sanki. OIC Deputy Administrator for Business and Investment, Mr. Kenneth G. Rementilia. Hawak na po ni SDA ROA ang envelope na naglalaman ng Employee of the Year 2017, sir. And to announce the 2017 Employee of the Year, let's hear it from SDA Ramon O. Agregado. Lakasan niyo pa! 
Konti pa, konti pa. The 2017 Employees of the Year. Employees, ha? Ibig sabihin, dalawa sila. We have a tie. Dora Sevillejo of Support Services. Eric Labarentos from the airport. Congratulations! Once again, our 2017 Employees of the Year, Ms. Nora P. Sevillejo, Support Services Group, and, and Eric Labarentos from the Operations Crew. Request the families to join their. Um, join Miss Nora <laughs> and yes. uh, Eric in receiving their awards. are the 2017 employees of the year let us now witness the symbolic passing of the light the torch will be passed on by our 2016 employee of the year winners Joel Mangalindan and Nathaniel Roldan. Let's give him a warm round of applause. Light symbol. 
symbolizes the task of being the role model of malasakit, excellence, and integrity we all must emulate. Together, we will be making a difference. Beloved Chairperson and Administrator, Attorney Wilma Teisma, to our Board of Directors, SDAs, DAs, Managers, Supervisors, Fellow Workers, EOY 2017 Finalists, and Guests. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am grateful for receiving the Employee of the Year Award. I thank first our Almighty Father for this momentous event. Our ever beautiful and grateful Chairperson and Administrator, Wilma Tisma, the Praise Committee for finding me worthy to receive this STEAM Award. I cannot forget the support that has been offered to me by my FABD family, my colleagues, my supervisors, and my ever-dashing and beautiful next to chairperson and administrator, Madam Attorney Isma, no other than our department manager, Edita Marzal. Likewise, my very sympathetic and gorgeous Deputy Administrator, Madam Antonieta P. Sanki, and most especially, our very handsome and crush ng bayan, our Senior Deputy Administrator for Support Services Group, Ramon O. Agregado. They have accorded me a good working environment and while this award is addressed to me, their efforts in making this possible should not go unrecognized. And most of all, I would like to thank all my friends, my brothers, my relatives, my family, my children, and my husband. I also recognize the accomplishments of my colleagues who have not been awarded but have contributed immensely to the growth of SBMA over the year. I do agree that every other employee would have been worthy of this recognition. All of you who became part of my journey, again, thank you. I started as volunteer from Tourism Department those cleanup days while you are wearing your best outfit in heels, those well-wishers, those busy days selling SBMA to lots of guests and prospective visitors or investors, I am proud to say that I am one of those who started and believe 
that SB May will be known and will prosper. Actually, it was my mother who encouraged me to serve SBMA as volunteer. It was her who believed that somehow I will become one of those who will become someone someday. But I was so saddened that my nanay and my tatay will not be able to witness this event anymore. But there's no regret because I have all of you who believes in me. Since I became an employee of SBMA, almost 24 years of service now, I have driven my motivation from its mission, vision, and core values, wherein it requires that customers, stakeholders, visitors, and co-workers must be accorded quality services, good environment, and the spirit of malasakit. Over the year, the agency and all of us has unfolded various initiatives to meet its vision. So this is it. This is the fruit of all those hardships, those ups and downs in life, those challenges in work, those patience. Don't just dream, but believe and work. Work without expecting anything in return, except for your salary, of course. Work without thinking about CCTVs to man you 24-7. Work without being service-oriented, but work with it wholeheartedly. Work with quality and work with set goals. Don't take those negative thoughts of others because I myself has been nominated for EOM or now EOQ but for two to three times but failed. So never give up but instead believe in yourself. Always ask to learn and willing to listen at the same time. Be ambitious. Wala sa pinag-aralan niyan, kundi sa diskarte. And be open to change. Well, we've accomplished so much for 2017 that I am so excited to see what, next, what the next four quarters will bring. Again, thanks to all of you and wish everyone an exciting 2018 with much success to come. Again, thank you uh, para sa inyo pong lahat, ang lahat ng award na ito na nakuha po natin para sa ano to. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Once again, our Employee of the Year 2017, Ms. Nora Sevillejo from the Support Services Group. And now, to deliver his acceptance speech, may I call on our 2017 Employee of the Year from the Operations Group, Mr. Eric P. Labarentos. Magandang, magandang hapon po sa ating magandang chairperson at administrator. At saan po ng kanyang mga Kasamahan po ngayon, kapwa-empleyado, maraming maraming po salamat. Maraming po salamat sa lahat po ng pumili po sa akin na ako po ay maging employee of the year. Hindi ko po alam kung paano po ako nanalo. Hindi <laughs> ko wala. <laughs> Sa punta pong ito, inaayos kong pasalamatan ang pangalawang pamilya ko, ang SBIA, na pinamumunuan ng aming manager na si Engineer Sarek Santos. Ganon din po sa mga nasa likod ng pagkakapili sa akin bilang Employee of the Year nominee. Makakaasa po kayo ng isang patuloy, masigasig at matapat na paglilingkod mula sa akin hanggang sa aking pagriritiro. Kung aabutin ko pa ho, 
Maraming po salamat muli. Isang mapayapang hapon sa inyong lahat. Dakal po salamat! Warm round of applause to our Employees of the Year 2017. Thank you so much. And congratulations, Ms. Nora P. Sevillejo of the Support Services Group and Mr. Eric P. Lavarentos of the Operations Group. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our awarding ceremony. Thank you for being part of today's program. And I think... Um, they inspire tayong lahat to do better. Yes, you're right, Robert. So may next year pa malay natin. Yes, may Mag next year and malay mo. Alam na. <laughs> okay, so on behalf of DJ Tommy G, I am Robert John Bovilla. And I am Regina Marie Buya. See, See you, you next year for, for the 2018 Employee of the Year Awarding Ceremonies. ceremonies.